Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this series of videos, we're looking at the effects inside the Boss Katana. If you haven't seen any of the other videos, go and have a look at those as well. But today, we're gonna to be concentrating on the reverse delay. If you like what we do, it would really help us if you liked and subscribed. And don't forget to click on that little bell button down there and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. So what is the reverse delay? Well, if you play a phrase into the Boss Katana and you use a reverse delay, what it will then do is to reverse the notes. So what I'm gonna show you first of all, I'm gonna speed up the delay time and I'm just gonna play a short phrase. And let's turn the direct mix so you can actually hear what I'm playing as well. So it's reversing all of the notes that I'm playing. The origins of this effect started probably in the 60s or 70s where a guitar player would record a guitar solo and then they turn the tape around and then that solo would then be reversed. So you can do it digitally inside the Boss Katana. So let's go through some of the controls. So the first control is the delay time. So you get quite a lot of delay time with this. It goes anything from one millisecond up to 2000 milliseconds. <laughs> But for the moment, let's just keep it around, say, 750 milliseconds. Now, the feedback is the amount of repeats we're going to get. So if I turn it up full. It begins to self-oscillate. So if you don't want that to happen, keep the feedback below 50%. Right, the next control is high cut. Now that is the frequency of the repeats. So for instance, if I turn this all the way up full, the repeats are at the same frequency as the original guitar part. So if I bring this all the way back, you'll hear the delays are much duller than the actual guitar. So let's turn that up to about two and a half K. So the effect level is the level of the delays. So if I turn my direct mix up, that's my straight guitar signal. If I bring that back, see we've got no volume at all. If I bring up the effect level now, it's only delays at full level. And obviously the direct mix, again, is the level of the guitar signal. So what I would tend to do if you want it as a subtle effect, bring the effect level below 50% and bring the direct mix up to 100. And let's bring it in a little bit higher. And then the further we bring up the effect level, the more intense the delay is. So I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I hope you guys got something out of that. Thanks to everyone that has bought me a coffee. I really appreciate it. If you do want to buy me a coffee, there's a link in the notes below. And if you haven't liked and subscribed, please like and subscribe and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.